Hello, I'm David Osger and welcome to Sign 7 News, bringing you the latest stories from the last week in the sign and wide format print industries. This week, VM and Display Show makes 2022 return, Fast Signs opens 25th UK franchise, Epson and Keypoint discuss prestigious awards, and movie posters pack a punch. First, the longest run-in exhibition in the retail display industry has returned to London. This year's show ran from April 5th to 6th at the Business Design Centre in London and covered areas of print and signage such as large format print, neon, LED, wall coverings and graphics. The show offers visitors the chance to meet creatives and learn about new techniques and technologies. Next. Franchise network Fast Signs has announced the opening of a new location in Northampton, marking its 25th site in the UK. Spearheaded by Tunde and Laid Sudip, the facility will be located on Bunting Road and help meet customer demand for signs and graphics solutions in the area. Fast Signs Northampton will offer a range of products and services, including digital signage solutions. Now, after releasing its fleet of Shure Color large format printers, Epson has gained a wide range of recognition for the accuracy and capabilities of the kit. Accolades include three Byers Lab 2022 wide format pick awards from research firm Keypoint Intelligence. We spoke to David Sweetnam from Keypoint and Mark Tinkler from Epson about the success of the machines. The way that we operate is we have a public testing program for a wide range of different um, digital imaging technology areas. We have standardized testing procedures, which we put all the devices through in our labs. It's a free testing service, so no one pays to play. And then at the end of um, either a season or a half season, depending upon the testing program, we then look at the best in class devices. And those are what we classify as our pick award winners. Well, we're very pleased that the awards have recognised uh, three of our um, signage printers, the Shore Colour S series, the 8600L and the S6600L. The R5000, which is this uh, other category that uh, David mentioned, um, uses a different ink technology, uh, a resin ink technology, um, which we've introduced um, uh, more recently. Uh, it's been highly successful because it extends our uh, range of capabilities so the printer can for example print better on uncoated substrates such as wall coverings this kind of application um, and it's designed to have you know highest quality good color stability good dimensional stability and printing accuracy these kinds of things so we're very pleased that the awards have, have, have recognized that um, the reasons why these machines won the awards um, one of the most common um, messages that we get across all the apps and wide format devices is the incredibly high image quality and performance that we see across our selection of image quality testing. So we, we assess image quality across a variety of ways. Um, we have a wide selection of half tone images that we, that we assess on the devices on both monomeric um, vinyl and on a cast vinyl. And the, um, the R5000, for example, got our highest possible rating for grayscales, memory colors, and metallics on the monomeric. Mark mentioned the very large color gamut on the 8600. Indeed, that is our five-star rated device and has actually had the highest color gamut we've actually seen from any device we tested. Um, but if anything, those two are overshadowed by the, um, the color matching capability of the machines. So we have... 15 different corporate spot colors that we assess as part of our testing. So things like Home Depot Orange, Cadbury's Purple, Coca-Cola Red, McDonald's Gold. And we have those built into our testing target. And then we ask the machines to print those without any additional color management. We simply use the color profiling that is attached to the media. And that is it. We leave the machines to do their best possible um, rendering based on no additional human impact. And the colour matching capabilities of the Epson machines across the range is incredible. Well, I think it's really important for us that the printers have been recognised for some of those specific attributes that, that David touched on there, um, which we've been working on 
and have been designing the technology into these printers for, 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 for years and, and will do going forward. We've tried to produce the best print engines, but then produce them in a way where the users can immediately access the best features and the best quality, be it through you know, easily downloading the right print settings and profiles for specific media and substrate types. We make that easy for them. Uh, and then they're up and running and, and they're color matching very, very quickly. So to have that recognized is really, really important. Uh, it's a confirmation that the approach we're taking and the, and the way we're addressing the market is, is the right way going forward and we'll continue to, 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 to do so. So that's, that's what's really important for us and we're very grateful that it's recognized. And finally, with cinemas now back offering full capacity screenings, Wide format printers and out of home suppliers have benefited from some standout campaigns. Companies like Clear Channel, Talon, and Kinetic have commented on campaigns for films like The Batman, which used QR codes, digital screens, and unique lighting effects to draw attention from passers by. That's all for this week's Sign7 News, but for now you can stay up to date with all the news in the industry at signlink.co.uk. View much more video content over on our Sign7 news YouTube channel, or join in with the conversation on Twitter and LinkedIn. We'll see you next week.